This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. Hey guys, this is Valerie Lauer with the iPhoneAppReview.com here with a video app review of an application that we've had this week with us called Trap Hunter. Trap Hunter is an RPG um, kind of quest dungeons crawling kind of game. It's a turn by turn app. Um, it's available in Japanese and in English. We're going to go ahead and continue here on the main screen. And as you can tell, there's some pretty cool graphics already. Um, the background images and the transition images are all pretty nice. Um, and if you see here on the main page, once you're loaded up to your game, it's not too shabby either. So graphically, kind of a cool game. Um, what you do here on your main screen, you can transition between your guild, where you get different quests to complete, your home base, which is where you would save, shop where you can purchase things and we're going to take a quick look at this uh, tutorial. So when you get the game and you start playing it you can actually get a quick step-by-step um, -step that walks you through what each area is. Um, I will go ahead and say the English translation is not the best throughout the application. Um, it definitely could use a little bit of work but um, for an application that was supposedly created first of all Japanese it's not too shabby. So that's a, just an idea what the tutorial contains. The shop, you want to tap and tap on it again. You can buy items, you can sell items, um, you're going to be collecting these materials and setting traps, which is kind of a cool thing. That's one of the unique things about this game. When you play, you don't just you know fight with a weapon in your hand, which but you do that as well. Um, you actually get to set traps. And this would be an example of all the different traps um, that you are able to set. Now I am going to run to this shop real quick. I need to buy some material because I totally ran out while I was in there running around. Bye. Okay. So as you can see, really a kind of a cool and easy interface with these. Whatever you need to buy, whatever you want to get, um, it's going to be pretty simple to navigate between. So pretty cool there. Um, and there we go. Alright, cool. So we've kind of stocked up on some stuff. I'm going to cut a couple extra of these since I'm a little low on them. And we're going to go ahead and open up the game. So whenever you're ready to go, um, you would be able to back. See, this one thing about navigation that I kind of wish I had a little bit easier um, is just to get back to the main screen. But here we go, here's the, here's the guild, you would tap on that again, and there's the different um, things that are available to you. Now, we've already done Defeat the Undead, as you can tell this has already been completed, it was undertaken. Um, now the next is going to be Attack the Goblins. This will tell you a little bit about that, and then you go ahead and undertake that mission. This will show you the different um, traps you have enabled. Now I guess later when you get more of them you're going to have to choose, pick and choose them, but in the beginning right now you can still use them all. And this is how it would load. And there are a lot of load screens, but it's really a pretty fast game. Um, I haven't had any complaints about using it and playing it. You'll you know, kind of get the idea what you need to do here in the beginning. And here you are. Now this is a mini map up here that's going to be really, really important. It's going to show you um, where different things are on the screen. And you can scroll in and out a little bit. And all you do to move is just tap to move. You also would tap to attack. And in the beginning here, I'm not exactly showing you the best way to do this, but there are some really cool ways um, to use different attacks or sort of different traps to get these bad boys. Now, anytime you get on top of something, you would just choose pick, and you would pick it right up. So let's go ahead and we'll find one more. There we go. This guy is here. So we're going to go ahead and tap on trap. Now, there's a lot of different kinds of traps you can set. Now, this is one of the interfaces that kind of annoys me. Um, you Again, you can scroll between them, but it's just not easy to get where you're going sometimes. Like, I want to get to that one. Well, there we go. It just kind of takes a while for some reason. Um, it'll show you what different prom, uh, these elements you need to make it. So, two or the water, or the green, go ahead and apply. And there it is. So, he runs on top of it. He gets speared. And it saves me the trouble of having to bludgeon him to death with my my weapons. Anytime you want to, you can also sorry, access the main menu to view your items. You have potions you get, different gear you get. You also can go into your equipment at any time and see the other options you have to equip. Say if I wanted to equip this dagger for some reason because it would give me an extra defense point, I could. Um, 
you know, it'll kind of show you where your points are. So you do have attack and defense points. Um, you can configure your message speed, your game speed, if you need to a little bit. But as I mentioned, it's already really a kind of a cool game. You can also save from here and exit um, from there as well. So moving is kind of easy. Is pretty easy. Um, when you get into some of these places that are a little more complicated, though, it is frustrating to have to go back and forth and always be, you know, one direction or another. But for the most part... As long as you maintain um, enough materials to set your traps, um, this is going to be a really cool little game to get into. Now, something to think about, too, is that this is a dungeon crawler, as I mentioned before. Um, you are going to get a chance to do this turn by turn, so you're not having to... Um... Oh, sorry, I don't like that. You're not having to uh, stay on the same level all the time. You do get the... You know, variety of going between levels. Um, one thing about that that's a little frustrating is that you don't always get um, to go back. So say you leave a, a level before you mean to, that's just kind of too bad. You have no way of getting back to where you went, where you came from before. If you accidentally go over the exit, um, then yeah, you do have an option. And as you can see here in these turns, it just gets a little, a little clogged up, but not too bad. Um, pretty easy to, tra to traverse and pretty easy to get through these levels. Um, and a lot of fun to play, to be honest. I, I really have thought didn't think this was going to be as much fun as it was. The trap idea, especially when you're fighting the bosses, is kind of cool because you do get different... Um, there's lots of different ways to get what you need to get. So there we go. Now we're on the next floor. Go ahead and say yes. And again, this next floor will have um, an exit like that, but it won't have an option for you to go back to floor one. So just keep that in mind. So here at the iPhoneAppReview.com, we did give this application... Um, a four out of five stars. A couple of things could definitely be improved, um, but for the most part, the graphics are great. The gameplay is pretty smooth, um, and although we do wish there was a little bit more to it, um, and that the, there was maybe a joystick navigation um, and more of a crafting feature, then that's really my only wishes that I have. So, again, with the iPhone app this has been Valerie Lauer with a video app review of Trap Hunter. Until next time.